we can approach backwards twisting in the same way that we approached forwards twisting, to make a somersault first and to turn late. So you can perform a three-quarter back somersault just before you're about to land on mats, make a half turn to land on your back, the same principle, or indeed a straight back with a half turn. I'd like to show you two other approaches which begin with an early twist, because when you're tumbling on floor, what tends to happen is from full twist, double twist, triple twist, the twist naturally becomes earlier and earlier. And eventually you'll have to initiate the twist from a contact with the apparatus, from the floor. So these two methods will give you some idea of how to teach a twist to a junior first time. The first way is in a, a puck position, which is quite useful because it teaches this fixed shape with the head neutral. A common mistake with twisting is that gymnasts will begin a twist with their head first, and that has to be avoided. Using this idea can help to avoid that. I'd like the gymnast just to perform first a front somersault into the pit with a quarter turn at the end, making a puck shape. Off you go. Good, next one. And what I'm looking for is that the shape stays fixed all the way around, including the part when they turn. That you're not holding your legs, you're just fixing your stomach muscles to be able to spin, twist in the same position, not opening out. Yes, the arm should stay in front and the head, very importantly, should remain neutral. And you'll see now that the gymnast eventually will go from quarter turn to half turn. If I ask Cameron just to lay on his back on here and make a puck position, this position for twisting is not quite tucked, not quite piked, somewhere in the middle. And it should be a strong position. So if I try and move Cameron, everything should move together. If I try and twist the gymnast, everything should twist together. And in the air, the same thing applies. Wherever he moves, if his muscles are all working, I can't break that shape. Very useful for twisting. So can we see one more time, front somersault with turn. And then I'm going to ask, if you do one more, Katie. Then I'm going to ask for the same exercise, but from a quarter turn at the beginning. So Tori twists to the right. She would normally perform a, a front somersault with a twist this way at the end. So now I'm going to start from a quarter turn entry. Tori's going to swing this way, lift her right arm above her head, and drop her left arm a little bit, and then perform the same exercise. Let's see what happens. Good, and the next gymnast. And many repetitions of this will give, start to give an understanding of where the gymnast is going. I like Luke's shape, very nice fixed position and up. And once the gymnast understands that, one more Katie, we can try from a little bit further round, so instead of quarter turn, we can begin almost round square. From this position sideways, lift that arm up, and we're close to a full twisting backwards somersault now. Next one. Up. Good. Or even one and a half twisting back somersault. <laughs> Good. And. and it can be a useful orientation exercise for gymnasts first starting out at twisting backwards. Fixing this shape helps the understanding about not sticking the head out. And if anybody feels ready, they can start from that position, swing the arms up, make sure your arm goes above your head to make a full twist. So that's all of those skills put together to make a back somersault in puck with a full twist. Oftentimes a straight somersault takeoff will teach head back and an arch shape, which we want to try and avoid in the early stages. Good. So once the gymnast has performed tuck front somersault with turn at the end, we can do the same skill from a quarter turn into a tuck front somersault, and in this case, Tori twists to the right, so I'm going to ask her to lift her left arm above her head and drop her right arm down, creating the tilt. So it starts there, swing and continue the twist. Good, and the next one. Back somersaults can be, with twist can be initiated with a late turn, which is quite okay, or we can initiate from an early turn. We've seen 
uh, a twisting tuck somersault that begins from an Arabian type action and we can perform the same exercise in a straight position. If you have a pile of mats, three mats high, it's quite useful to perform round off backflip half turn to finish in handstand or indeed half turn to land on your back to initiate the first part of the twist. If you are good with supporting, it's also possible to do the same things supporting. So I'll just demonstrate a little of that. I'd like the gymnast to perform round off backflip, half turn, and I'll catch them in my arms. And for this, my far away hand will just go into their stomach, and the other hand will catch their legs. Good. And it doesn't matter if the gymnast twists away from you or towards you. Kaylee twists this way, she'll make her twist, and I'll put my hand here, and the other hand will stop the rotation rather like the handspring somersault where the heels go. If Kaylee twists the other way, the same thing applies. Half turn, and this hand catches in the same position. Carry on. Too powerful. So I want to see round off back flip, feet up, shoulders down, and the right arm dropping a little bit early. And dish, up. That's better. Dished is much easier, Cam, yeah? Okay. Once the, the girls have an understanding of half turn to handstand, preferably onto safety mats themselves, then we can perform the same skill with more vigorous heel drive into a straight front somersault. And again, the support's the same. A little push on the stomach and with the other hand, a little bit of support on the legs if necessary. Good. Me here a minute, Katie. So for this one, making a straight somersault, rather than having this hand on the stomach, I'll change so that my close hand catches the gymnast on the stomach. If, if a gymnast twists away from you, the turn's made, and you catch in this position with your other hand helping the somersault on the shoulders. If the gymnast twists to the right, same again, catch here, and the other hand on the shoulders. Let's see a few more. Half turn. Good. Well done, that's nice. So once the gymnast can perform an Arabian, be it tucked or straight, it's not too difficult to add the extra half twist on and they could perform that on their own onto a mat. Or if you are capable, you can support it. And again, you can support the twist turning towards you or away from you. It's much easier to do it when the gymnast is moving quickly, they're not as heavy, but I'll try and demonstrate the support for uh, slowly. If a gymnast twists towards you, as Cameron does, your close hand is going to catch him around the middle of his body. Good. And from that position, pull him towards you and continue the twist. Watch again. Half turn, catch on your arm, roll the gymnast towards you, and the other hand helps him down. much easier when it's done fast. If the gymnast twists away from you, same thing applies. Up, from there, catch, and then again twist with your hand slightly crossed. One more time. Ooh. Up, go. Yes, and twist. That's it. Okay, now we'll see some faster. Good. Next one. Chest in, Cam. Good lad. Fast. Good. Remember that the most effective position for twisting is this position with your back rounded, rather like boxing. The closer you are to that pole, your axis around your body, the faster you'll twist. So this position, not so effective. This position, very good for twisting. 